This may look like a tricky problem, but it's not. It's a very standard math question that's taught in Algebra 2 in 9th or 10th graders. Let's begin. First, notice that we have a base of 4 here, while we have a base of 2, so we need to go ahead and change it so that they have the same bases. And we'll change that 4 into 2 squared. Next, since we have 2 to the x here, we want to have 2 to the x here as well, so we'll go ahead and swap the 2 and the x and change it into 2 to the x, all to the second power. Notice that we have 2 to the x here and 2 to the x here, so we're actually able to factor this. However, I like to go ahead and substitute a value such as a for 2 to the x, making it into a squared minus a minus 12 equals 0. If you're able to factor this directly from here, even better. Let's go ahead and factor this. We get a minus 4 times a plus 3 equals 0 and a equals 4 or a equals negative 3. We're not done. We're not solving for a. Keep in mind, we're solving for the value of x. So now it's time to go ahead and take that 2 to the x, substitute it back in for a, where we get 2 to the x equals 4 or 2 to the x equals negative 3, where from here, you can see that x equals 2. And from here, x has no solution as a real solution. As a complex solution, of course, there is. But at this level in high school, 9th or 10th graders, they don't solve for complex solutions. They only solve for real solutions. And the direction did say we want the x in real numbers only. Therefore, our final answer is going to be x equals 2. I hope you like this video, and hopefully this will help you, your studies in your math class. And if you haven't, subscribe. Don't forget to give that thumbs up.